All right, welcome to the Unfiltered Podcast. That's Unfiltered without the E. We have an amazing show today with two amazing guests, so let's get it. With Eric and Ange. All right, guys, once again, welcome to the Unfiltered Podcast. Um, thank you guys for waiting. We had an, uh, another little technical difficulty before the show, but um, we have two amazing guests today. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. We'll start with the lady. Uh, and give me your age, your name. Sorry, it's going to be name first, age, and then your relationship status. My name is Jada. I'm 21, and I'm currently single. All right. My name is Brian Abarca. I am 28 years old, and I am taken. 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 All right. She must be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and shout out to my brother again. Uh, he actually flew in just to do the show with us. So Listen, shout out I'm, to him. I'm a huge fan. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, both of you guys. I'm a huge fan and i um, happy to be here. I flew from New Jersey. New Jersey. To Miami just for this podcast. That's, and that's I'm out crazy. right after. That's amazing, man. I really appreciate huge that. Huge fan. Yeah, that's great. Uh, all right. Well, if you guys don't know, my name's Ange. This is I'm Eric. Eric. This is Eric. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm so it's still blunt like mind blows me to hear that we even have the word huge fan. I know. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm ever gonna be comfortable comfortable saying anyone is a fan. To me, <laughs> you guys are friends, supporters, supporters viewers, yeah. agree, all the above. And shout out to Conceited C. Every time we go on live, I always see your I name. Know. Conceited C is always yeah. here. And she's like the first one right before we get like all of is our that viewers a girl? coming in. This is a girl? Yeah, conceited. Yeah. Whose ex is this? Because she is always here. <laughs> Which one of y'all know her? Um shout out to her. Yeah. So all right, today's Friday. This is our last show uh for this week until Monday. So thank you for everyone that tunes in religiously with us. We have some crazy topics today, some crazy everything. So my first three topics that we want to touch on before we get to these two guests is uh Delusional hoes, mm -hmm. my favorite. Uh, hypocrites, which follow lines with that. And um, yeah, Mia Khalifa and Emma Ratatouille, that yes. chick, those two girls. Um, so we'll touch into that. We'll, what, do we have a clip to play, Anwar? We do. Give me one second. All right, this is the YouTube video. You ready? Yeah, this is the YouTube video. Yeah. Fair use, fair use. Being able to talk more softly to myself because it's really easy to say, you were a you were dumb. How could you do any of the things that you did when you were 21? But I would never talk to a friend of mine who's my yeah. age, who's telling me stories about what she did when she was, I would never talk to someone like that. Mm -hmm. I would never think of anyone like that. So why am I not giving myself that same that same grace that yeah. that makes us feel icky and feel like we're not deserving of. Mm -hmm. When I first started getting attention, it was the first time I had gotten attention in my entire life. Wow. And I felt like all of my happiness and all of my my confidence and validation depended on me looking good. Mm -hmm. um, and it was that that was really, really scary. And men's attention. Yeah, of course. That's exactly whose attention I thought that that, that that's whose attention I was chasing. I mean, of course. If I mean, I think every young woman can relate to that, but um, especially if you felt like you hadn't had it and then all of a sudden you had it. Yeah. I am the most active on TikTok when I am the most depressed. Interesting. Yeah. Because it's an outlet. Yeah. When I was like like – deep in my Lexapro mm. prescription. Oh my God. That, that's why I have so many followers. That's what you need. A Lexapro prescription. <laughs> Bro. Any guy who goes after a girl significantly younger than them is severely lacking in their life. And I, I mean that confidence wise, I mean like they are falling short in so many places that that is the only place they can turn to to feel like they have they have something on the scale of power and it's i mean ultimately it's predatory i mean there's just no way to kind of because you're manipulating someone who is not aware of what <laughs> they're giving you and it's unfair <laughs> yeah. some like beautiful witch i love a witch 
I am a little witchy. Yeah, I try. I try. Tell I me try. about your witchiness. I I mean, I'm I'm dabbling in it. I'm I'm learning the crystals. I'm learning oh, the shit. I'm learning the incense. I'm learning the oh, you mean like spells. traditional witch? Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Like I want to go to Salem. <laughs> I want to go to Scotland. I mean, I yeah, I'm glad to be a witch in this time. You know where they're not burning us. I mean, they burn us in their own way. <laughs> Is everybody still awake? I just want to make sure. Yeah. All right, bro, you can end this. I can't believe, first of all, people like that actually have a platform to talk about absolutely nothing important. One, how clear and goddamn crispy their quality is. That's not even fair. Take yeah. all that money and donate it over here. That's the money from uh, porn right there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, what what did you get? Did anybody get anything from watching that clip? Uh, I got that it was annoying as fuck that every single time she spoke, there was like a little song that came right afterwards. Um, also, talking about being predatory, um, men wanting younger girls, that's that's been happening since ever, right? Uh, I want to get their opinions on it. What's your opinion on uh, men dating younger girls and girls dating older men? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I totally disagree with everything they said about being predatory and everything like that. I think sometimes men go for younger girls because... Some guys feel like at a certain age, girls lose their value, their interest, their attractiveness. So they go for younger girls because she still has it and she still has more to earn and more to gain. And I feel like some guys are like, they enjoy being a mentor. They enjoy being a teacher. So a younger girl, you can teach her. You can instill so much more knowledge in her than you can a girl in your own age group because she's already set in her ways and set in her standards. So I just think they sounded dumb. All right, she came in. Yeah, right. totally agree. All right, yep. Brian, did you, did you get anything from that that irritated you through that clip? I I honestly did not learn anything. <laughs> um, you know, let me let me be devil's advocate. If if we're predators, I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, we when we're single, when when we're young, us men, we go in the club, we hunt. You know, I I would I would go with my boys in the club, and we would just play around which is like oh yeah we're hunting for girls um that's the only predatory thing that that i would say i've done growing up but other than that hell yeah we go for young girls because they have the purity we can we can you know teach them things from the get you know nowadays if we end up looking for or dating anyone who is let's say past their prime over 25 26 you know they they already got the the thottery in, engraved in them. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, especially in Jersey, especially in, in New York City. Yep, big city. Well, big city. To, to the to the thotties out there that says that, well, you're not pure. Why should I be pure? What do you have to say against that? I got nothing to say. I'll just close the door. You know? <laughs> like, well, I would like to say that I would want the lowest body count for a woman. So that they could even have a chance for me to provide and security, uh, you know, provide my protection, give them the the assets in their life of them calling me, you know, their man. You know what I'm saying? And younger girls, most times, nine times out of ten, they they have a lower body count. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons why we go for young girls. What is the relevance of having a lower body count to them being in a position where you would wife them up? Good question. Um, there were just less less dicks, less less semen in them. God damn! You know what I'm saying? Like this. Welcome to Unfiltered, guys. <laughs> Thank you for tuning you in. You know, like I mean, that's it's a simple it's a simple answer. So you know for sure, if she were to get pregnant, that would be your child. Is what you're saying? You know, you mentioned that in the past in the past episode yesterday. That's a good point. Yes. But I would say, you know, you want to be the first man in the moon. Yeah. You know, if they're if they're a virgin, hell yeah, I'll, I'll put my flag in there. And nine times out of ten, that virgin is always going to look at you. The first one as, yo, they're always going to be in like have that connection. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's. This is, uh, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I, I wholly agree, wholly agree. But what about to all the virgins out there that lost their virginity? Where's the guy who took their virginity? Where's this mindset at when those girls lost their virginity? I want to know that. The guys. Yeah. The guys. Yeah, because that, uh, because you guys are saying that men value purity mm -hmm. and virginity and virtue and all that stuff. And I mean, women are born into this the world with all of that. 
somebody took it from them. Why aren't they valued when they're taken from the women? And now that women are of age to have sex and consent, everyone's saying they want that. But I mean, somebody took it from them. It seemed like nobody value, valued it is what I'm saying. Wait, let me answer that. Because um, first of all, girls are losing their virginity at a really, really young age, right? You're talking about, we're talking about high school here. Mm -hmm. And so what, what guy in high school is really going to want to value a girl? So that, why are guys having sex in high school? No, why are women allowing guys to have sex? Because women allow men to do it. Like if, if so you're blaming it on women? Well, yeah, absolutely. Because it's their responsibility. Was... Yeah. I mean, if a girl in high school says, I'm going to save my virginity until I reach 25 and I meet a guy that's really going to value me, then that's that's her choice. But, you know, you have 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds giving it up in, in middle school, high school and shit. And, um, yeah, that guy's not going to take you seriously. All right, I'm done playing bimbo. Oh, you guys heard what Eric said. Um, I was just playing devil's advocate. My brain almost melted for a minute. But for those of you who are watching who had that question, because I know that y'all love, they love to beat you to the punch. It's like, well, we had our virginity and you didn't care. Yep, yep. Well, then, you know, don't drive when you don't know how to drive. That's a simple point blank. No, <laughs> drive when you actually figure out when to stop and when to merge. Right. So that's all we're getting to. My other problem with that video is how Emma was saying that shit and agreeing. Um, when does anybody know anything about that Ratatouille chick? Anybody know anything about her? I do. She oh. she dated Brad Pitt for like two point five seconds. Isn't yeah. he like damn near sixty years old? He is. Yeah. He's pretty old. So I mean, I think it's a bit of a, a position to sit there and and talk again shit about how men operate. When in reality, the roles are switched, which they usually are on TikTok, for example. Women are allowed to pray after older men because they 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 offer value, they offer security, they offer I don't know like common sense apparently. Um, and I think women have this confused with the fact that just because he's older, that's what it is. No, <laughs> that's not really what it is. It's just you finally realize those are the type of guys you want and you're willing to submit to because you don't want to submit to. You're going to sit there and roast him because your eggs are drying up. Yeah. And here's another thing, too. Um, she only she only gained uh, success and status when she did that uh, that music video of Robin Thicke. She wasn't known before that. Robin so Thicke. Robin Thicke made a video, a music video, and it went like viral. She was in that music video and she was nude. And I mean, obviously. But she's always nude. That's the thing with Emma. Well, she's... that was the first time anyone had seen that, though. And, and it blew up, obviously, because she was really beautiful. And everybody's like, yo, who is she? Every Literally, she blew up because no one knew who she was yet. Yeah. And everybody wanted to find out who she was. And guess what? She she blew up over that. She's she's a very beautiful woman. But here's here's the thing that happens. That was how she opened the door into success, right? She came into Hollywood, and that's what everybody knows her for. So now, you know, she's a single mother. I just, I saw that she has a podcast, and she's, man, I'll let you guys check that out for herself. She's over there talking about some crazy shit. She's like, oh, you know, sexual liberation, and let's do what we want. Let's not worry about, um, you know, what happens in the future. Let's just be free. Bro, that's horrible advice to give these young yeah. ladies. What do you guys think when you hear that? Sexual liberation and uh, do whatever you want with your body. How do you feel about that? I 100% disagree with it because more than likely, if you have that mindset and you are taking those actions, you're not taking them safely. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking them through before you take them. You're not doing the research you should do before you take those actions. So I disagree with it and I think it's stupid. So do you think that every girl... That, that follows for every girl or is that for some girl is it cool to generalize what you're saying because a lot of girls will attack you for saying that alone yeah we could generalize it I'll why attack for it why because that's really how majority of young girls think not every girl when she goes and gets in a bed with the guy when she gives the guy her number when she goes to his house and link up netflix and chill mm -hmm. she's not sitting here thinking like you know what i should probably ask him for some paperwork mm -hmm. to make sure i don't leave here with something i don't want to be leaving with mm -hmm. so yeah i will generalize it because majority of the time 99 percent of the time no females aren't thinking that shout out to jada what do you think brian about sexual liberation for women I does think, that even does, does that even sound right i think that's haram oh yeah. <laughs> you know and, and and this is another thing you know eric you made a good point um you know, she was irrelevant until she got naked. Exactly. Did you guys ever hear about Mia Khalifa before she got naked? No. That's not even her goddamn name to begin with. Yeah. Is her name like some vanilla ass name? Yeah, it's a, it's a very. She got a really name. vanilla name. Is it, she a Karen? I mean, her I name it was like something Sarah something, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Listen, I'm a child of God. I don't watch whatever she created, so I don't really know too much about her. But all I'm going to say is she just. She she's bullshit. Like she retired from that industry and she still carries that name. Yeah, her name is Sarah Joe 
child. Well, because it holds weight. That's like, that's why. Yeah. You know, if she came up with fucking Sarah, whatever the right. fuck, you know, it's not going to sell, but it's Mia Khalifa. Yeah. Uh, you and know I, what I'm And I think the funny thing is that, you know, these women, they, they gain success through doing these acts and then they're miserable. Like, there's a cycle. Even Lana Rose, every you know, everyone should know who Lana Rose is, but same thing with her. She got married. Marriage never lasts for these type of women. Why? Because look at their history. So when when you have women like Emma or whatever her name is talking about sexual liberation, she's telling women, go ahead, be sexually free, do whatever you want. And then later on, when those women turn 25, 30 and they're single, single mothers, mm -hmm. there's, there's a reason why. There's a reason why. Well, because I promise you, if you're a virgin, guys are going to want to be with you. You don't even have to be the prettiest girl in the world. Just because you're a virgin, guys would want to be with you. Well, I think that it's important for women to realize, like, there's a lot of uneducated women out there. And I'm not saying PhD, ed, like, uneducated. I mean, just common sense. Like, for women who have, like, book smart, that's cool. Stay in the labs. But if, if you're going to be in the streets doing street things, trying to get a man, which your man happens to be in the streets, um, you, you're going to have to learn this shit. So y'all need to watch better podcasts. Because if you're watching that bullshit right there, that's exactly why your brain is continuously, like, calcified. Y'all got to watch Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, that's exactly what it is. They're they're learning nothing. And it pisses me off that, like, I actually looked up her picture, uh, that Emma check. Yeah. And I Googled her and she actually had clothes on on some of them. And she looked very conservative. She actually looked better with clothes on. Those pictures are probably when she was married. But what I'm saying is, like, she, the women don't realize, like, when you are that, like, covered up to that extent. Like, and she's gorgeous. She has a pretty face when she's not talking. I'm like, wow. And I'm not being, like, facetious when I say that. Like, I, I actually was like, wow, she looks like like a good a, a good girl. Mm hmm. And it's unfortunate that when you don't realize, when you strip your clothes off as a woman and you have no substance behind why and what you're doing it, and that's me just justifying why if you need to. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate to realize that that's all men see after you are naked. So okay. when you speak of anything, there's no, even if you're saying that the sky is blue when it's out, no one gives a shit because there's no substance behind it because you don't have any fucking value. No matter how you look at it, oh, I have value because I'm making money. Babe. You can't take that money with you to the coffin. Nobody gives a shit. Even when you get a husband, you're not paying for the mortgage. What does Us. it fucking matter? Agree. No, no yeah. man cares about how much money you make. So uh, it's unfortunate they don't see that. So that and, and, and you know what? You know what's crazy? They take out the like the mystery of like seeing you naked. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm on Instagram and some girl drops into my DMs, I go on her profile, and I already she's she's doing you know one of those squatting pictures, and I literally see the rim of your asshole mm -hmm. already yeah. on Instagram. Like, I, I don't even want to see you naked. I already know how the ass looks. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. It's right there. What, what do you guys think about the fact that they're calling themselves witchy and witches? Listen. Like, what, what's up with that? Yeah. If it's going to help them go to bed tonight, then be all the witchy you want to be. I think that flies over men's head. Like, what, what's like, up with that? They tune I, out because they, they want to find any reason to threaten men. Like, oh, like... This other girl that you know, where it's like they use this reason to mm -hmm. summon the truth out of you. If you lie to them, I will fuck your life up if you do this to me because I'm a witch. Mm -hmm. I know astrologies. I know if you're a Libra, I'm a Gemini. I'm going to fuck you up. They don't realize men don't give a shit. Actually, the more you talk about it, the more they're just thinking about shoving their dick in your brain. Because you guess what? You're not speaking of any sense. So the dumber you are, the easier it is for them to run circles around. So keep spatting out that bullshit. You're actually making the game easier for them to just walk in and walk the fuck out. Is all I'm gonna say. I know that females try to use that as like a manipulation tactic on yeah. men, and like you said, it does not work. It just makes it doesn't work. Shove their penis into your brain. Agreed. <laughs> Listen <laughs> again. So the it's, I know this sounds brutally honest. As much as y'all love to sit there and, and call me a pick me girl, I want to see which one y'all got a ring out there. Actually, for anyone that calls me a pick me girl, if I go on your page, you got some booty pics up there, some butt naked, anything up there. Mm. I want to see who's trying to pick you mm. because you're clearly salty about it. Um, I went on a, um, one of my videos. I, I told Anwar, I uh, get that video pulled up because I, my comment section, I actually don't look at my comment section. It's bullshit. Yeah, I, uh, I saw that thing going <laughs> off today. Not sure what, why. What, was, it a new, was it a new one? No, nah, it's just still the same video from the other podcast I went on. Shout out to uh, Can I Vibe with you guys for that video. I think someone shared it or something because it was going off. It's going off today. And they, the comment section is bonkers. Like the girls are like, oh, she's a pick me. Oh, she wouldn't know. She doesn't understand this. And, and, and you can see, like, the, the crazy part about it, if we're being real, the goal in life eventually, now or later, is to attract whoever you are attracted to, the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. If you like the same gender, that's cool to each their own. But I'm speaking about traditional shit. Guy like girl, girl like guy. Mm -hmm. Why am I wrong for doing what the fuck I want to do to coexist with the opposite gender? 
How am I deemed a pick me girl for that? Can someone really explain this shit? Because I don't get it. Because as far as I know, I'm picked. I'm good. I'm solid. I'm just spitting facts at this point. And y'all are just spitting up semen. So I really want to know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, do you want to play that video? Yeah, let's play with this clip. Spitting semen. <laughs> I'm going to start using that one. <laughs> you know, they're not, you know, spitters or quitters. Y'all ready? Yo, facts. Yeah, go ahead. Free privilege is not loyal. They're not trying to cook and clean. They're not trying to be your girl. They're, 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 they want to enjoy your perks, but they want to be on OnlyFans. They want to post them so they are for the public. They are for the community. They're homie hopping, all that stuff because body count is not a thing. They're like, oh, I can do whatever I want body. Mm -hmm. So why would a guy with status wipe up with a girl who got a kid who's in the streets, who's popping her with a, for four ninety nine a month on OnlyFans? Free mm -hmm. privilege is not loyal. As they're not trying to cook yeah. and clean. We'll go through the they're comment not trying section. To be your girl. Yeah, pause that, bro. Let's go through the comments. And with that being said, that clip was cut. So for anyone who doesn't understand, they literally just simplified it to the, the main topics of what we're talking about. But the comment section, uh, scroll it to where there's a bunch of women, not the guys. The guy, oh, that's stupid bitch. Scroll it down. I just saw her. Pretty, pretty nation. Please pick me. This bitch looking hella extra on Instagram. Over here talking about, please pick me. And you have an entire army. Oh, that doesn't show all the comment sections. Yo, are you able to click on her uh, profile? I just want to know why she's wearing some print and neon shirt. Oh, I got to I got to log She's in. wearing pick me clothes. Oh, you can't out. Yeah. Oh, no, click click on her. Maybe she's uh public. Yeah, just click on her thing. No, this no, is no, this no. Is, this is me. Uh Hi, Greg. Like click on her profile, bro. Like the pick the one that says pick me. Oh, got you, got you. Okay. Right there, pretty Nashima. Nashima. Oh, you got to log in. Damn. Oh, that Wait, sucks. click on the page. Right. Well, look, the look at her. Her, look at, ass yeah. is I mean, like, for the fact right that she's there. Yo, her profile picture is pick me. me. Okay, right. but for, from Mia Khalifa and that chick that just said, did, did they just? They literally just said that they do shit for validation for men. Did yeah. they not say that? Yeah, they do. They sure did it did. unconsciously. Mm. So you're posing like that, and if I'm not mistaken, none of my pictures on Instagram looks like that, and I'm deemed a pick me girl because I said some shit that hurts your feelings. That's the shit that irritates me. You're just saying facts, Ange. I'm not and like I'm not even saying this to fucking be an echo chamber at this point and have people tell me that, but like I never asked for the validation. But when you go and insist like anything online, these are the type of videos that get reported and mass report because people don't want to hear the truth. Mm -hmm. And then you put I showed you a picture the other day, Eric, of this yeah. trick online. Everything was shown. The only thing that was not shown was the actual nipple and the actual butthole. But but it was showing though. But what I'm saying, yeah. you could see it, you but it was like it. a little scratched out. Mm. Ask him when that video and picture was ever taken down. No. No. That's it, my point. That's crazy. And this video that you were just showing us, it, it went viral, if I'm not mistaken, right? All the clips from that from that podcast that I went on, like I literally just hopped on. I was like, all right, let's just do it, guys. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Literally just a casual conversation. Yeah. All of it went viral. And unfortunately, like all the men, I'm not saying unfortunately because women don't. Somebody said, oh, I don't trust a girl where if every man agrees with her. What? So if you go to a car dealership and you don't get a great, you don't get any of the cars, you go to all of them. I don't get any approved. I'm a red flag because I didn't get, I got approved for all of them. I don't understand this. Like, why is that bad? Yeah. If everybody approves of what I'm saying, I have women of all ages. The only ones that are crusty about it are the one who have that link tree link that goes straight to OF. Those are the only angry bitches on, on Instagram at this point. And that's what doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm going to keep ranting off. Um, but, 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 you know, like a good point is that all the men are agreeing with you in the comment section. Yeah, all of them are. All of them. I, I literally that. just saw. They were clapping, mm -hmm. saying, Hold, uh, you go, girl, etc." But the type of guys that they want in the club to buy them a drink, the type of guy they want to pay their rent, the type of guy that they want to just give them attention to like their photo, and they're mad that, that the guys are commenting in the section saying, you know what? Thank you for speaking about this shit because I'm tired of just ignoring this. Mm -hmm. There's things that you see, but you don't get to hear because nobody can actually say it. So... That's pretty much it. Well, it can go forever and ever about pick me girls. Um, Jada, right? Yes. You said you live in Miami? Yes. How I long have you moved here two months ago? Two months ago. We moved here around the same time. What made you move here? Um, I'm from Arizona. I have lived in Arizona literally my whole life. I've never lived out of state by myself anywhere. And so I figured if I was gonna go somewhere, I wanted to go somewhere where it was kind of like my kind of scene, my kind of vibe. I like the people out here. So far, everyone has been nice. I haven't ran into like too many rude people. And I live in Bayside and it's like right by the park. Everything's walking distance. And your weather is way better than Arizona weather. I don't yeah. know about Arizona. Um, when you say everyone's nice, you mean like everyone's nice? Like 
what, what do you so far the few people that i've run into few people that i've had small conversations with have been nice i ran into some few rude people but they were homeless so i don't really count it okay what do you do for work I do only fans. God damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm a licensed masseuse as well, and I'm a physical <laughs> trainer too. So that's not that's not my main focus, but I do do other. But things. I want to know why. Okay, let me clarify this. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, mm -hmm. but I want to understand the why because let's talk about you know Pretty Woman. Mm -hmm. You know her. You know her roommate that she was with. Has, has anybody seen Pretty Woman? Anybody mm -hmm. here? Okay, well. In that movie specific, she is a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Why did she get the happy man? And why did her, her roommate say, damn, I should have never gave you it to him? You know, that's such a good question. But I feel like she only ended up with the happy man because you, you've seen that movie. Mm -hmm. And um, one of his ex-wives was like friends with like his uh, assistant or something. She was like a bridesmaid at her wedding or something like that. I feel like the only reason he ended up picking her was because the woman that he was supposed to be with the woman his age, the woman are of his type with the same jobs as mm -hmm. him. They didn't want him because he was, like she said, he was always working. He was always away. He was never at home. So I think like he settled for her. I because disagree. She is a prostitute. I like, disagree. What, I disagree is, with that. Why would she care? She was I, out here selling coops. Nah. So the reason why I disagree with that, I think that people think that men are unavailable, emotionally unavailable. There's, there's no such thing. I would say that men are only emotionally unavailable to people that they do not give a fuck about. Mm-hmm. Men will drop everything for the right woman, but they can't tell you well, what man do you know? Say, listen, I know deep down you are a great girl, but you were for the streets. And right now, pussy is convenient, and I'm just gonna enjoy this. And you're a very sweet girl. Thank you for cooking, cleaning, and washing my clothes. Why would a guy say that? So it's unfortunate that girls get put in that position, and it sucks because it's like, I think he chose her. And I'm gonna say this just because I think that it's we had a guest on here that said he was looking for a girl with ambition and drive. Women correlate that with being in the workforce. No, it's when you have a determination, a goal, that's what's attractive. Her mm -hmm. goal was to get in and get out. She didn't care about that party life. Mm -hmm. her, her roommate was about that party shit. Mm -hmm. She was like, yo, I need to pay rent. I'm here to, to blow you. Give me my, my rubbers. I'm going to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. That was like in his mind, like, well, I thought you were, I thought in his mind, this is what women usually do, but she's in and out. So when I hear OF girls, I hear a lot of girls who choose to do it, not because they have to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's the stigma I'd have to say where it, it, there's too many girls that are saturating the market where it's like, do you have to do this or you want to do this? And a lot of girls don't have to do it. They're choosing to do it and saying, well, I need money. Why do you need this type of luxury lifestyle that you have to do this and jeopardize your future? Now, there's girls who don't have a foundation, who have a felony. Remember Jasmine, mm -hmm. my, my Indian girl? Mm -hmm. She had a felony. She couldn't even do Uber. She had a felony? She had a fucking felony. Wow. You can't do Uber with a felony? No. That's crazy. I didn't know she had a felony. She looked innocent as fuck. First of all, she was in an arranged marriage at 18. For 10 years, she was stuck. She's Indian. Like, Indian. Yeah. Forced arranged marriage. She wanted to divorce him. Something happened. Long story short, she got a felony. Got fucked over. No alimony. And when I hear that, and she got a kid from him. Those are all things I'm like, okay, yeah, it makes sense. You you had to do it. Yeah. Now, these young girls out here who just simply don't want to lift a finger and just like, I have to do this just because I want a Dior bag or a Louis Vuitton. Girl, get your priorities in check. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it? When I hear that, oh, well, I don't have parents and like the guy did, I picked the wrong guy, fucked up X, da, 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 da. And it seems like you try, you just keep trying. Mm -hmm. And this is the only source to survive, to catch up. It makes sense. But out of 10 girls, do you really think all girls have that story? Oh, no. That's where I come in at, where I disagree with that. Because I'm like, in a generation, we have so much opportunities. Why are we taking the easier route, which is fine. But why are you also complaining when you have so many options? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem. Right? They complain. Complaining. You know, they're choosing to do OnlyFans, which is fine. It is what it is. You want to be, you know, uh, most girls that want to be for the streets. Okay, fine. This is no problem. But the thing is, they complain that they're looked as objects and, and and that's the main issue the main issue is that they're choosing to do it and then on top of that they're complaining that they're being sexualized you know what i'm saying how do you feel about hearing that um now that you've stated your side i do 100 percent agree with what you said some girls choose to do it because like you said they want a dior bag they want a luxury life. right and, and it's trendy. Also, yeah, there you go. It's they're they're so hopping on the wagon. Trendy right now to have such a luxury life because everyone on TikTok is living in luxury places, yes. and high rises and stuff. So I definitely agree with what you said. Like some girls choose to do it to have a high lifestyle that they can't even afford, even if they do OnlyFans. And some girls truly do have to do it. Yes. And I also I've known some girls who 
chose to do it so she can go get a Dior bag and go get some Prada shoes. And I've known girls who like, they got kicked out of home. They started doing OnlyFans, but they use that as like their stepping stool to go do something else. Like they would use their money from OnlyFans to go invest in like their clothing line or their hair line that they really wanted to do. But, but is it but is it worth giving up like your sexuality for it? For it? You could say yeah, I mean. Yeah. I was going to ask that too because you said that uh women are jeopardizing their future. Do you feel like you're jeopardizing your future by doing, doing OnlyFans? Only like even your kids down the line, I don't know if I you want, want kids. kids, okay, but like that, that's that's one percent out of the ninety nine. The ninety nine, most of them, they want kids. Can I ask why you don't want kids? Um, because I went through a lot of traumatic things with my own family, and we lost a few babies in our family. So I just, it's a scary risk for me that I just don't want to take. I understand. I think that um, those are the rare exceptions why people don't want want kids. But for the most part, I usually hear very selfish answers. Mm -hmm. And I, I always ask, like, even myself, you asked me last year or the year before, I've been like, fuck no, kids are weird. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> um, now I realize how selfish I sound. And the reason why I say that is like, one, I'm taking accountability. And then two, I realize like, why do I feel this way? I don't want to put kids into the world, but I realize this is where my kids are going to grow up in. Mm -hmm. A generation where social media is raising them. And who's, who's in the social media? The girls my age who are saying like, fuck morality. I'm going to do whatever I want. It's my body, my right. I don't care if you get influenced wrong. I'm going to deal with this when I'm 29, 30, 31 years old. I'll deal with it when I get there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I draw the line. I was like, I didn't want to have kids because of that. But then I realized I'm selfish as fuck. Mm -hmm. Do better, Ange, because you realize all these kids are getting raised by social media. Why? Where the fuck are your parents at? Mm. Why are we mad at content creators? Why are we not mad at parents? Parents are the reason why we have serial killers. The parents are the reason why we have weirdo freaking simps and cucks. Se parents are the reason why there's so many women online selling themselves short because they didn't have a dad because they had a fucking psycho mom who keeps competing with them. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, this is my complaint with everything, that there's a root to everything. And with OnlyFans, it sucks because it's like, you're chasing after this lifestyle once you survive. But the thing with that is like once you have you've bitten the, the forbidden fruit, now you're consistently chasing after this lifestyle because you know, wow, I can make $100 like that. Agreed. But you can never go back to a nine to five job or a job that helps you climb up the corporate ladder because even drug dealers, how much can you wash your money after you realize I got to do this shit the, the legit way? So it's hard to climb out of it. And I think that's like I, this is why I always put the phrase like women do not think logically or critically far enough to understand the consequences in their life. And this is like, if it's okay that we don't. Biological, I just don't think we're designed that way. I hate to say it because we are sh sheltered by our parents, if we have them, our dad, a partner, if somebody loves you. So like, you just don't really have to think that far. You just think for the moment being. So how are you going to make the right decision that won't affect you? And no girl ever wants to answer that question because they think they know what's right. Yeah, also another thing is you're saying you don't want kids now, but you might meet a guy that you really fall in love with and he'll tell you, hey, I want kids. So I don't, I don't see a guy that's going to date you and not want kids i mean it might be that's why i'm single now right and that's what i'm saying the guys are gonna want to reproduce right they're gonna yeah. want like a little mini me so and that's fine i'm not the girl for you so what if you got to so a lot of this sounds like a situation where you're like you dealt with certain things and it just it, it set the bar like you're done but a lot of these things i think it goes with like financially and emotionally for women hand in hand mm -hmm. if you met a guy which if you're in an industry where you're going to climb up a ladder financially, you're going to have plenty of men hit on you. Mm -hmm. What do you find a guy who's like, fine, I'll get a surrogate. I'm going to be with you. But this, this, this is why I can't be with you. But this is a guy that you wanted. Nine out of ten things checked on the list. Yeah. That is the situation. I'm like, if a guy really loves you, believe it or not, I think that they would do whatever the fuck they want to, to make your life happy, to create a family with you. To create the family you never had. Mm -hmm. And I think like we don't think that way because we're emotionally hurt. I have every right to be emotionally hurt. But then again, I realized the world doesn't give a shit. Yeah. The world carries on. And and again, you're saying this right now. How old are you? 21. 21. Come on, man. You have so much life. You're going you're gonna to meet a guy that you're going to be head over heels for. He's going to tell you, I want a baby. It's going to happen. It's happened. And we caught off the wedding. It's going to happen again. Have, have you ever... Do you ever see yourself meeting a guy where... If he ever did something unattractive, like let's say, what's something unattractive about a guy? Suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, name one ick about a guy that you don't like. Um, one ick about a guy that I don't like. Um, first thing that comes to your mind. First thing that comes to my mind when he does keep a haircut. Okay. Imagine the man in your dream who's always on point, 10 and 10. 
Mm-hmm. And then you catch him off guard, just looking crusty as fuck. Mm-hmm. Could you ever unsee that ever again? No. You, now you know that he has the capabilities to look that raggedy, that dirty, that unkept. You're like, damn, I didn't know you were like that when you're not around me. I didn't know that's how you really are. Do I really want to submit myself to a guy who have it in him to be that lazy when I'm not around? So unfortunately, my, 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 my correlation said, I was like, for women, we're young. Everyone supports you to do whatever you want. The internet supports us. The internet, I've always said, your entertainment comes at your own expense and your own pain. The internet does not give a shit. They will clap. They will send you coins. They will send you pennies. They will make you feel alive and fruitful. It's amazing. But when you turn off the internet, let's say it's one day it shut off. Now what? Those same people that made you feel the way is no longer there. And like we're left coping with ourselves. And that's my biggest thing. It's like, damn, maybe I should have just did this shit the right way. And who says what's the right way? What, what is your definition of the right way? Do you know? That's yeah. facts. Like, like, who are you without the internet? Did you touch people's lives? Well, Maybe digitally, you touch your dick. from OnlyFans, I'm a licensed masseuse and physical trainer. So without the internet, I think I'll still be oh, all see, right. There you go. See, I'm a trainer too. That's great. I'm like, so I think if OnlyFans went down today, I could fall back on masseuse and physical training and still be all now, right. Now, are you... Because most people on, on, on OnlyFans, they, you know, they put movies out and, and videos and, and photos, right? Mm-hmm. Are you doing that for training or are you just putting out nudes or things like that? Like, are you asking, like, if I combine the two or if I Right, because to my knowledge, I don't have an OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. But to my knowledge, I hear that you can actually provide some value as, like, let's say a trainer. On mm-hmm. OnlyFans. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, That's yeah. True. So what you're, are you asking, like, if I post videos of me doing training? Right, 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 right. No, 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 no. Oh, I okay. keep those two, those three, I keep them all separate. Gotcha. Literally, I started OnlyFans when I was 18. I got kicked out of home. Mm. And then I did that for about a year. And then I went and got licensed for masseusing. And then I continued OnlyFans for a little bit longer. Then I went and got licensed for physical training. So, no. I keep Why do you all keep them, them separate? separate? Because I don't want to combine my physical trainer and masseuse clientele with my only fans clientele because those are two different clients because you know that those guys would want to come see you and they would want more bingo right bingo bingo so i try to keep the two separate as much as possible it's not always easy because sometimes if i'm giving a client a massage like hey i seen your instagram you have an only fans i'm like well Here's the grant boundaries. Here's the rules. This is going to be separate. I keep it separate. No, we aren't going to record a video and make it look all sexy and put it on OnlyFans. We can record a video, make it a reel, post it on Instagram, but that's all it's going to be. I keep the two separate because I don't want the confusion in my clients at all. But you know, it's, it's crazy because a lot, I've met a couple of OnlyFans girls and, you know, you guys are actually the most down to earth, sweetest girls that I've uh, that probably even sweeter than me, to be really honest. Thank you. And it sucks that society doesn't give a shit like that's the shitty part because you guys do things out of survival out of necessity and it's like this is the part where does it really matter what you mean when it doesn't when it doesn't deliver that way that's the shitty part about it and i think it's a, it's it's good for girls to realize this it's like you mean well but nobody gives a shit because you're trying to survive but at this with this do you think that you're working really hard right now like you're busting your ass oh absolutely do you think you'll have that same energy 10 years from now absolutely you think so Busting my ass and working hard? Absolutely. 20 years from now? Absolutely. I'm still going to have to provide for myself. I don't think so. I don't know, babe. I'm still going to have to, if I have if I have kids, I'm going to have to provide for my kids. If I have a husband, I'm going to have to somewhat provide for my husband. My husband is not going to be the full financial. Why? You take care of me and our kids. No. Why not? If we're together and we're in a relationship and we have a family, this is a team effort. Mm. This is not... You do it all, and I'm gonna sit here and play housewife and just tend to our kids. No, no, partnership, no, no. right? Partnership. Mm. If I'm staying at home, taking care of our kids, I'm gonna be working as well. I'm not just gonna sit at home all day. I'm gonna have a work home job. I'm gonna find a nanny, find a babysitter, find a daycare. But I'm not gonna just let you take all the responsibility as a man. That's not how it works for me in relationships. But do you think that that's too extreme, that that example? Because I think like what you're saying is like you don't want traditionalism. You want modern, like you want yeah. partnership. But do you realize like, do you want more in life? Do you want a lot more than what you have now? Yeah. Is your goal to continuously chasing up the ladder? Mm-hmm. How do you plan on getting there if there's equal partnership? That means I'm on a patch, you're going to pat me back. We're going to keep playing patty cake. At some point, 
you got to stop and play with Patty Cake with somebody with a higher value so you can move up the ladder. How is that going to happen if we're both, if you're both raising kids, both washing dishes? And think about this. 50-50 is fine when you're young. When you add on kids, you add on your work life, and you still care about yourself, whole relationship with your family and yourself, that is more than 50% that you will be carrying. How do you think you're going to handle more than 50%? Because his, he's signed up for, most men signed up for their job and you and like 20% with their kids. Only because men, I would say men being in their kids full time, all the time, usually make their kids a bitch. But the too much makes them, you know, fatherless girls in the streets. Mm -hmm. I don't think that men should be in their kids life too much because then, then their kids, uh, they don't really serve a purpose. Like men aren't like those that are nurturing like moms, would you say? So who's, who's more important in the kid's life, mom or dad? Dad. Why? Because speaking from my household, my dad was the main person in our life. My parents are split and my mom literally sent us to go live with my dad mm -hmm. because she felt like my dad could do a better job of raising us. She felt like my dad could be there for us more emotionally and mentally and physically because of the things he went through versus the things she didn't go through. Mm -hmm. My dad had more experience to teach us. My dad had more knowledge to instill in us. My mom didn't really have it. My mom was my mom. My dad, on the other hand, my dad was in the streets. He worked a job. He had kids. Now. But do you he think that married. that situation, he, your dad will make you masculine? No, my dad, my dad married. So there was definitely feminism in the house. And my dad, he couldn't teach me how to be a female, but he could teach me how to not be too masculine as a female. So if he seen me do something and he was like, you know, you're acting too much like a boy, he would straight up tell me, you did this and I seen it. I heard you say this. I seen it. And I felt like that was too much of boyish like you. And I feel like you should tone it down to your feminine side a little bit. My dad always put me in check. Always. So that well, that well, that means your dad has to tap into the maternal instincts, which is a woman's instincts. Which ex which maybe explains why, you know, maybe you don't want kids or maybe you just don't have like the maternal instincts. You know, like trait. in a sense where you're like, I don't want sense. this because of what you've been through. But yeah. you have to understand like you are one of the few, let's say like, we're going to say you're the exception. The exception who decided not to be a victim, to be a survivor. But you do realize we live in a victim culture where like if a girl goes through that, how many dads you know are actually going to say, you know, let me step up and be the right figure. We have a, pl a bunch of shitty dads in the streets mm -hmm. right now, you know, and a bunch of shitty moms also. Personally, I think it is important for a mom to be a good woman, for a girl to look, to watch. And like, you know what? My mom was this hard worker, but also feminine and knew her place. And my dad knew his place. And me as a girl, if I, if I copied most of the shit my dad did, I would be one butchy woman. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, like, there's no way in hell that my dad could tap into how women operate entirely to explain, like, listen, time of the month. I know you feel this way. Da, 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 da. He can't explain that. So to me personally, I don't think a, a man, I would say like a woman has to be in a kid's life 70%. That has to be the 30%, personally, is what I would say. Because when my dad walked in the door, I knew, like, oh, shit, make sure the house is clean. Make sure you turn off the TV. Yep. Make sure you're not disrespecting mom. Because he was never there. And I think that's important. If my dad's always there. I don't give The house is a mess. Right. You see boys all the time. They don't care. Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to be on your best behavior when your dad comes home. And then also, I'll say this one thing. You said you wanted to de uh, do, like, an equal relationship, equal partnership thing. Um, I've actually learned that when a woman has to do as much as a man, in a relationship, her sexual drive drops because she's doing things that men usually have to do, right? So um, there was a story about this guy named Eric Thomas. He's a motivational speaker. And he said that he found out that his wife would have to like cook and clean and take care of the kids and have to worry about paying the bills, some of the bills. And he, he, would, he would say like, hey man, you know, like I wanna spend some time with you. And she was like, I'm tired. You know what I mean? She's been working the whole day. And then he said that as soon as he started taking care of some of the tasks that she had to worry about, then now she had more time to tap into her femininity, right? So she had to, now she had more time to want to be with him. She uh, wanted to spend time with him and she got time to, you know, get sexy for him. And uh, their sex life obviously improved because of that. So I'm just letting you know that 50-50 uh, doesn't work. Long term. Yeah. It is when you're young. I think when you're young and you're trying to get to that next level, I think it's good. It's good to pass the baton and say, babe, like, I'm going to hold this shit down. You go conquer the fucking world. Go to war. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for it to pick. Women need to pick the right partner to get to that point with somebody you love. To say, you know what? I trust this man enough for my future. And he knows like, damn, those are, that's my wife. That's my kids. This is my future. They look up to me. And it's, it's in a man's world. If I'm not correct. If I'm, I'm wrong, correct me. It's important for men to feel like they have a purpose. So like, I'm, I'm going out here to bust my ass 
for these little people that are looking up to me. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that when men don't have a purpose, they deteriorate. They play oh, video fuck. games, they gamble, they do all these weird things that just occupy their mind. So That's a fact. When you don't give a man a purpose because you're picking up too much responsibilities for him, what you do is you create a mama's boy. You create a simp. You, you create a, right. a guy who's petty who's going to be like, well, you do that shit. I took it out yesterday. Why don't you take it out today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You create this like, this personality where they become a bitch, ultimately. is what And, I and that's why men men lead into... Meet, they lead in a relationship. You know, I, I don't think the relationship will be successful if a woman leads. The men should yeah. lead. Yeah, name Always. one thing uh, throughout history that has been successful with a woman leading. I don't know. I agree with what he said. Men should lead. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I still can't work. No, I, I, I think not at all. But yeah, like there needs to be a leader, you know, just to counteract your point, there needs to be a leader. If, you know, if you're saying it's 50, 50, if it's 50, 50, then it's an equal partnership. There needs to be a, a you could still lead as least. a man in a 50, 50, in a 50, 50 relationship. How are you going to lead? You very how? much could still lead as a man. How it's is it 50, leading? 50. Like, how is that leading? If you feel like as my man, you feel like I'm doing too much. This is where you step up as a man and you lead and you tell me, I'm going to need you to slow down. I'm going to need you to clear your schedule. Right. I'm going to need you to take a spa day, a be hair day. a nail Why? Day because something. he has authority. Yes. So then if so it's if, if he has authority, then someone's leading in the relationship. If someone's leading in the relationship, it's not 50-50. No, it's at least 50, 51, 50, 49. 50. You're just putting me in my place when you feel like I have, when I'm doing too much and I don't have enough time. You think that you can put your man in his place? Yeah. How? Like, what, what would you say that he would instantly say, all right, my bad, I won't do it again? If my man came home acting belligerent, acting some kind of way, well, I'm going to tell you, you came home acting belligerent because of what happened out there. Leave that there. Don't bring that into this house. When we come into this house, you need to leave outside, outside, whatever pissed you off out there, leave it out there. And when you come talk to me about it, be calm about it, be leveled about it. But don't sit here and scream at me and yell at me like you would do them because you're mad. I think that men do that when they don't respect the women they're with. I, I don't think so. I know that men usually they internalize a lot of their feelings. And if a guy feels that like he can vocalize what he wants selfishly, usually he doesn't give a fuck about that woman. For example, um, Alejandro, that was the other night. She mentioned that the guy that she was dating kept bringing up threesomes. Personally, you like Candace Owens, right? I love Candace. Would you ever ask Candace Owens for a threesome? Let's be real. Hell no. Because you respect her too fucking much because you know she'd <laughs> smack the silly out of you. Usually when a man is comfortable enough to disrespect you, try you, um, react a certain way where he just feels like you're just as at fault for me reacting this way and I'm taking it out on you because you have shown me that you don't give a fuck either from what I believe. Mm -hmm. Damn, actually, yo, I've never thought about it like that. I would never ask Candace Owens for a threesome. I know. Because I, I actually admire her. I know. Like, uh, she's not that type of woman. And um, damn, that's crazy. Men know who to disrespect. And it sucks because even the women that they love the most, love is, men compartmentalize a lot. So they compartmentalize. Love is love. Fuck is a fuck. Um, but right now, you've shown me way too many consistency that you are, like, you're inconsistent. Um, and part of why men, I would say, throw temper tantrum is like, I've come home from a long day of work. The kids are running around. House is a mess. There's no goddamn food. And you haven't sucked my dick in two weeks. I'm blowing up on you because my boss just bitched at me. And I'm trying to make more of a paycheck to support this family. As a woman, what do you bring into the table? Mm. Usually I've noticed consistently that's why men have blown up. And as much as women hate hearing that, they think that I'm picking a man's side. If we just talked about black and white facts, if you looked at any of my parents, my grandma, my aunts, that's the situation. The women have lost their value as they've gotten older because they're no longer keeping up with their physical image. Logically, they never speak of any sense. It's like, why are you angry? I'm just on my period. There's no logical reason, Mr. Jordan Period. <laughs> For a man, if you break it down, why are you angry? Well, this, no food, no sex, badass kids, shitty job, putting up with it, trying to climb the ladder, and you look like shit. What's that oil stain in your shirt? There's so many negative things that I didn't sign up for this. Right. It's easier for a man to be single in the streets than to be in a relationship. And when they choose to be in a relationship, that's them sacrificing. For us, it's our goal. But believe it or not, all these girls out here say they're not. They only say it because they can't find one. But when you're ready to be in a relationship, it is your goal to find somebody that will love you wholly, mm -hmm. that will guard you the way your dad guards you. Mm -hmm. Because... That's why your father would walk you down the aisle mm -hmm. because he's passing on that responsibility to your man. So to say that you're looking for a 50-50 relationship, it's a bit of like an irony because it's like your dad would never say 50-50 with you. He would shoulder the responsibility because he knows like, I love my girl. She shouldn't be in the streets like this. She shouldn't be in the world where somebody could hurt her emotionally, financially, or any way. To be in a relationship with another man who gets to fuck you and you have to cook clean, raise his kids, and shoulder his emotions, and you're going to do 50-50? 
Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, you taking like, the L in that. Yeah, that's Agreed. like ludicrous. That's like my child asking, this is a 50-50 relationship. And he's trying to check me when I right. come to work. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, it's right. like, yeah. It's just be real. I'm right, paying dude. the bills. What the fuck you think? Yo, and also, you know? and you're spitting facts. Because like, right, I would never want a daughter of mine to, to fucking be with a guy that's going to be 50-50. Yeah. What, what the fuck? Like, exactly. I've taken care of her my, my whole life. Why the fuck would I want a guy that she's going to go 50-50 with? Or but even or even flip it, have one of my one of my daughters or a daughter take care of a man. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that. Saying. No. Yeah. I, and I think that's where, you know, society's gone wrong is that society's telling women that you can be independent. Yeah. And that you can take care of yourself. Bro, that's you, you guys don't end up happy like that. We're not. That's it's the truth. I'm like, and I'll speak from my own experience. I left home at 14. So everything that every girl has experienced as far as like we need to be empowered, independent, we all feel the same thing, but you have to get out of that mentality sooner or later. The sooner the better. I mean, like as many things that I was I, I was glad that I was saved by the fact that my my uncle would tell me, like, yo, as a girl that I have taught you this knowledge, you will never pay for a man. You will never drive a man. Because there's no way in hell that you're going to be thinking about when to make the right turn, the U-turn, while he's sitting with his legs open, scrolling left and right on fucking TikTok or Snapchat, whatever the fuck it is people do nowadays. Why do you get to stress out why he's that relaxed? Yeah. And people don't think about these things. They think, oh, you're being petty. No, no, no. Everything comes at a price. Hmm. Women, we have to offer things that men would never want to do for themselves or can't do for themselves. Is it fair to say that women that pay for men don't know their value? I would say so. Well, I... I would say so. And Listen, pain- I, yeah, I could I could say that for my for my even for my aunt. Like I'm I'll, I'll step it up and I'll make it personal. My aunt is take is she's a baby mom. She's divorced. She's in her 40s and she's basically taking care of another man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And she How old is she? She's in her 40s. See? I think women that you know? take care of men um it's because they they feel like hey if I take care of him maybe he'll stay the you know what I mean and, and, and you know what you know what else you know my my family most women in my family um second generation I'm third second gener- generation in my family they all are divorced some of them chose to stay independent mm-hmm. and they're alone in their 50s 60s 70s now my aunt she chose you know what no one's going to look at me. And this is concrete. I'm putting my feelings aside. I love yeah. my aunt. I'll take a bullet for her. Mm-hmm. Okay. But putting putting my feelings aside, my aunt decided, you know what? I don't want to die alone. No one's going to look at me in my 40s, you know, divorced, having a, ba- uh, a baby daddy, three kids. You know, I don't even have the custody mm-hmm. and I'm taking care of a man. Mm-hmm. Why? Just so that she could just not die alone. Exactly. And you know, it is what it is. She does, she's choosing that route. Right. It's fine. You know, she's just choosing not to be alone and dying alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In 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 contrary, you know, like other one in my family, they they chose the independent life. Yeah. Even my mother, you know, she chose the independent life. She raised two beautiful kids. I'm one of them. They're successful. That's great. But at the end of the day, I even tell her, I'm like, Mom, like, you know, you should have yeah. tried to, because what's gonna happen? You know, she's she's think she's taking care of my grandmother. Yeah. And then once, unfortunately, once my grandmother passes away. What's she gonna live? Yeah, for? and here's the thing, man. Um, thanks for sharing that, by the way. Women that that become independent, and, but you get into your thirties and forties, fifties. That is a lonely ass fucking life, man. You're single as a woman, like, because as a man, you can kind of just like you know go from woman to woman. Hell but yeah. guys aren't gonna want to date a 30 40 50 60 year old right. So as a woman, that is a lonely ass fucking life, and that's a reality check, especially for OnlyFans girls, because that's. That those are the obstacles that they're going to be facing right. in 10, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Like you, you brought up w- w- that movie, Pretty Woman. Mm-hmm. That's that's a Disney fairy it's, tale for them. That, and that's what I was going to say. That's you know, that, but that's prim, not prim, real. No, the prime example I was trying to make is there's two different girls in the same industry. Right. If we're just talking like we're not going to go into depth of what happens after he picks her. We're talking about why did she even get picked? Why did two hoes, two prostitutes? Why did one get picked? Why didn't the other get picked? It wasn't a fucking flip. It was just simple. Like, listen, this was the sweetest chick there could find out of his work industry. Why do men always cheat on their good girls that they married for the hoes? Because the hoes have to offer that 20% that the 80% that they're not getting. Mm -hmm. Men can leave their fucking 80 and be fine with their 20. They can start over. There's no biological clock for women. You see plenty of women. You got the 80-20 rule. They will leave a man for 80%. They have 80% at home. I'm just missing 20, but I'm a greedy bitch. Guy at the bar with no shirt on, with the abs, he looks like he's giving me 20%. Fucking you go, Brad. You go yeah. home with him, and then you find out, damn, 
but I miss how my husband used to do this, this, yeah. this, and this, and this. And Brad won't watch you long term, anyways. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm gonna read some of the comments. Um, Conceda says facts. Eric's Julius says. Uh, Julius has some questions actually. Uh, got a bunch. He had a question for Jada. Jada, would you give up OnlyFans so there's a long term uh, judgment from your future boyfriend? Hmm. Not sure what he was trying to say there. I think, so there I think what he was trying to say was like. Would I give up OnlyFans if, like, I had a good boyfriend, good mm. relationship, and, like, my boyfriend didn't do it, didn't like it? I think that's what he's trying to say. Would you give up OnlyFans for your, for a boyfriend? Yeah. You would? Definitely. Okay. If I feel like we were really good together and you really did love me, definitely. Um, and then David says, since men need to be leaders, can women be the advisor in a relationship? I would say so. Yeah. I think that's a hap that's that's a partnership right there. Yeah, because all you're doing is just giving advice. He comes home and says, you know, I have this. Depends business. on the topic. Yeah, it does depend. <laughs> it does depend on the topic. Finances. I don't I'm think. like, it does depend on the topic. But you know, if your man comes things. home and he has, you know, an idea and you have, you know, some advice for him, I feel like that's totally fine. Uh, why do you say finances? I agree with you, but I want to say I like. I agree that. with that too. Finances because women are the biggest consumers there in the world. Go. I agree with that. I My man like knows what he's talking about. You know, habits. And, and you don't always know how to. Save. Listen, if if I give them money, if I give them directly rent money, okay, and I'm paying for my girl's rent, um, she could be using that for something else. I'd rather just kill the middleman, pay her for her rent, and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah, it's simply just that's a simple answer. It's because women are the the biggest consumers in the world. All right, Perkins says facts, and then Conceda says uh, more facts from Angela. Oh, hello. Um, it looks like, um, damn, uh, there's a whole bunch of questions here. I'll read this yeah, one. I got says, them all start. Okay. Um, yeah, do you want to go ahead Onward, and read that one? Are you reading them? I can read them. Go ahead, bro. All right. Question for Jada. Since you don't want kids, what would you bring to the table for your future boyfriend? Well, that's a good question. Since I don't want kids, what would I bring to the table for my future boyfriend? What would you bring that a man could not buy? My loyalty my love my affection what is the love? way i clean your house what is love i, I always wonder what people you. when they say love what is love in your definition love to me is when you like you really feel something strong for that person like when you look at them you don't see like oh this is one night this is just my best friend this is just you know a, acquaintance like when you look at them you see like i would do anything for for you literally if you were to get sick i'd give you a kidney if you needed blood i would do it for you love to me is when you aren't selfish with that person is when you can completely just see we do anything including having kids no so then that's i need not... to be with someone who doesn't want kids you do understand that your pool is really small right guys are gonna want to have kids i fully am a no but it, it's, it, it's not even that you're answering the question you said it twice love for me you're you're trying to find out what love is for the man. You know what I'm saying? Well, then we need to get to know each other. Well, I mean, it, it's important to attract the opposite sex. I mean, are you into girls or guys or both? Guys. Okay, just want to be sure. Uh, so isn't it important to learn what majority men would want so that you could adapt those traits? Yeah. And if you want kids, that's not how I train I'm going to adapt to. If you want, if you feel like I'm unloyal and you say that and you feel like I need I'm going to adapt to that and I'm going to show you like, okay, I'm actually loyal to you. Here's, you know, how we're going to do this, how we're going to go about it. If you, you feel like, yeah, fair enough. What's your definition of love? I honestly do not, I don't believe in love. The only, the only love I believe in is conditional love. And I think that's only, uh existence between a mother and a son a mother and a daughter father between and a, a parent and child exactly wait you maybe said even conditional love or unconditional love conditional oh uh, unconditional sorry unconditional love i agree i think unconditional love goes with pets kids and parents you know you know and the, the harsh reality for a man is there's always going to be another man better than you yep so do men care about love is the simple question here? Nope. I don't think as men we even. Is it love or loyalty, y'all? Uh, more about? Loyalty. loyalty. Yeah, Definitely. I don't think men actually expect to be loved. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't think most men are actually raised up being loved. Anyways, I think as a man, mo most of the time we're being prepared to be men. At least we should be. 
So like, for instance, me, I don't really expect a woman to love me, but my love language is loyalty. You know what I mean? Be loyal to me. I don't want you to sleep with another man. I don't want you to embarrass me. I don't want you to, you know, give me a reason to doubt you. So that's from, I have a question for you, both of you guys. What would you say to a young lady, right? Who is in her late twenties, right? And she has a guy that she has a family with, uh, pays for her bills, obviously, takes care of her, loves her, but she wants to leave him because he wants to be with other women. Crickets. So let me let, let me let me understand. So a woman leaves her man to be with another woman? No, she just wants to leave him because he wants to be with other women. So he wants to have other women. Okay. But he pays for the bills. They have a family together. He loves her. He'll protect her. Um, but it's just something that she can't accept. Do you think that's smart in the long term? I mean, she's she's already has she has kids. She's gonna she's gonna go into the marketplace. Guys aren't gonna want to date her. She has kids. She's getting older. She's gonna be a hot piece of ass yeah. at night. And that's it. You know, she's I mean, she she still has that like borderline. Okay, technically she's still in her twenties. Mm-hmm. And maybe she might have a better chance for than a thirty year old, mm-hmm. but um, I mean, you said she they already have a family. Yeah, yeah. I mean, t- t- she's only a, a, a good night to fuck. That's it. Yep. To be honest, okay. you know, and and the guy, um, this is a harsh reality for for women. A man's going to have sex with other women. Mm-hmm. It's regard. It's it. The point is whether the man is going to be honest with you and upfront. Or he's just going to hide it. So are you like, are you going to, are you going to, is, is the woman going to leave the man for the actual cheating or the lying? Right. Nine times out of 10 is going to be the lying. Because mm-hmm. he's literally telling you in your face, y'all, Rebecca didn't text me. That's, that's, that's my coworker. Mm-hmm. That's, that's yeah. not, that's not my girl. I'm not fucking her. What do you think you, about you that? Her? Um, I think in that situation, I feel like. If you're going to stay, then make sure he knows that that make sure he has his other hoes in check. Make sure his other hoes don't come into your DM trying to be petty with you and make sure they don't come texting like, hey, ha, 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 ha. he was with me last night. He wasn't with you. Where were you? Like, if you're going to do that and you're going to stay with him, by all means, do it. I'm for it. But make sure he knows to keep his hoes in check. I feel like once the hoes get out of the line. That's when it starts to become a problem. And, hoes hoes be house, running wild, though. Yeah. They really do. They still going to slide into the They DMs. really do. But I feel like some men, not every, I don't know, I'm not a male, but I feel like some men, you can keep your hoes in check. And if you can't keep that one in check, go get another one. Yeah. There's a whole but, f- and, but freaking But remember, thing. that's her, that, that's the, that's something that she won't accept. Do, do you think that it would be smart for her to leave her family because she can't accept that? No. That's why I said if, if you're going to stay and you do stay, make sure you tell him. Keep him in line as much as you can as possible. And if you can't, please at least cut that one off. Go get you another one. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that, Angela? I agree with that. I, I do agree. But again, I think this is where we, you and I, we draw our differences at when it comes to men um, expressing wanting to be, you know. With other women? Yeah. But here's the thing, right? That woman leaves. She's a single mother. Right? No, no, no. I I agree. I agree. It's just women, it's, it's horrible. Single women's in the streets is a no go. I was talking about how I personally don't interact with those type of guys who mm-hmm. get who even have the balls to say I want to sleep with other bitches. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what you want. Mm-hmm. I stay in my lane of my number. You stay in your motherfucking lane unless you're going to provide X, Y, Z. Like I told you, I don't date nines and tens. There's a reason why I don't go there. Right. Because that is what comes with it. Mm-hmm. These girls mm-hmm. nowadays think it's because they they have a Dior bag or they're sitting in someone else's Lambo that they can challenge the men in those. I don't go up there for a reason. I right. stay below sea level for a reason. Yeah. So she. So we all know that and. And just dates a certain type of guy, right? Like my guy is a ten in my world, but if you me- measured right. it to society's metric, because he's not six something tall, yeah. doesn't make seven figures, and doesn't live in Miami and drive all these fancy cars, he's not a ten. And there's nothing against him, but what I'm saying for this example personally, do yes. you think it's smart for that woman? I would to never leave this agree. Guy? I, I don't think women should leave their baby daddies just because of that situation. For me. Women ignore red flags a lot. Like there's no way a guy just you had a kid with him, marriage goes on, and he just decided he wanted 
this many women in his relationship like that that shows from the beginning mm -hmm. and i think that women tend to ignore these things and all of a sudden they want to flip the switch be like well i have standards now well girl you don't open your legs for a couple of years now you got some kids with him i don't think losing some more integrity would kill so just go on and buy your little bag go to trader joe's you, you'll be fine go I hang out with Ange. i agree with that's you. all i'm gonna say that would be horrible for the kids too just you know growing up with without my parents together you know i never i never had a father growing up it's horrible so you know nine times out of ten let's keep it real if a woman leaves a relationship and they have kids nine times nine times out of ten the kids are going to stay with the mom yeah uh -huh. and Agreed. and again those kids nine times out of ten are not going to be seeing their 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 father too often yeah you know and again like you like you said uh earlier i mean the father needs to be somewhat in the kid's life yeah 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 and i'll go as far Perfect. as saying this man if a woman leaves her guy because he wants to be with other women you're it's like he said your your kids are now vulnerable you got to now hope that the guy that you do end up with if he takes you seriously is going to love your kids mm -hmm. is going to want to take care of those kids because he might be fake in front of you but then as soon as you go to work, he might mistreat your kids. Mm. And then that's where the trauma starts, right? Mm. Your kids might get, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube, but, you know, they might get, um, uh, yeah. or something. you know, yeah, yeah. you know, they or might. A SA is what I mean. Right. Yeah. So it's it's just, you know, it's just a lot. You take a bigger risk. Why, why not stay with the guy who you know loves your kids, is going to protect your kids? Okay, he wants to go out and step off a few times, like a year. Fuck Personally, it. I think that if you have kids with somebody, you should just understand your life is done. Like, accept your cards that you dealt with. I understand if you don't have kids, sure, explore your your cards or whatever you want to do. But if you have kids with somebody, for a man or for a woman, for both. I hate to say it. Yeah, I, I hate to say it. I don't think I don't think. I don't think man, uh, unfortunately, have, I don't think for a man. No, I would say so because it's it's like it's weird for the fact that growing up that you know that your dad is doing this, like especially for girls. Then now you start accepting that that's what men do. And you but start that's dating, a, that's, and that's guys. great. That's a fact. You know what? Yeah, if I if I have a daughter, that. I would tell my my daughter, listen, men do this X Y Z. No, 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 no. You no, need no, to no, find no. a man who's going to protect you, provide security. Okay, this, this is clearly where we're going to disagree, Ange, because because An Ange doesn't believe in that. No, but, no, no, no. I don't agree that everyone. I, I I know that every man wants it. I'm not saying every man is allowed. I'm saying every man is not allowed it. Mm -hmm. There's some men uh, that doing uh, the bare We know minimum. that every man's not allowed to do it, but every man wants it. I didn't give a saying. fuck. Every girl wants to be a fucking princess queen with a four carat ring on her finger. She doesn't deserve that shit. Right, but going into that, I would let my daughter know, hey, just understand what's what's gonna happen. Just be prepared for it, right? And yeah, okay, if the guy's not worth it, then don't don't do that with him. Personally, That's cool. personally, I understand, but again, I think we're speaking for men of the hierarchy, the men who are chasing after wanting more in life. I would say the majority of America are bum ass, lazy men are just like, I'm bored of my wife. And this is this is all it's going to get. You don't get to be bored with your lifestyle and then get to step up because you're bored. Your life is just as boring because you also contributed to it being boring. I have to say, Understand. If, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. But, 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 I, but guess what? Those 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 like mediocre men or those lower tier men, there, there's going to be some thought somewhere. Or or a five hundred pound thought somewhere, bro. And he's he's gonna still stick it in because he's not getting it at home. And but he's and, not announcing that shit to his girl because she's a big thought. So exactly. So do, so do you prefer someone who is gonna hide it from you or just be honest with you? Exactly. No, no, he's no, still no. gonna do it. He's Listen, still gonna, we, women just outnumber men two to one, so it's gonna happen. Listen, it, I I really believe that I understand what y'all are saying, but there's this thing called discipline. I understand. I just don't believe. That that is that necessary to that point. Like if you are doing mediocre in life and the, you're just constantly just thinking about oh, my dick needs to be scratched, you need to lay your priorities right. That's all I'm saying. Like I I don't give a fuck that you want to stick it in a fat bitch. Do it. But guess what? You just lost everything you had in life because at that point you're not doing shit with your life. And now I'm gonna put up with the fact that you fucking other bitches. That doesn't make any sense. We're living in a mediocre shitty house with no grass. Bills are barely paid on time. No, we're not sharing. Right, but you're talking about the guys that that don't majority, it. majority, majority guys. Right, like, right, listen, correct. and not everyone applies for a job. I, people, I have my job recruiter friends, a hundred applicants, mm -hmm. only two to three gets accepted. Right, we're being realistic here. These are the top five to ten percent of men who actually get to ask for these things. That's their preference. I agree, wholly agree. Cool, you worked hard to be in that position. It is not easy to get to that position, mm -mm. mentally, physically, financially, all the above. I understand, but again, like. I would have to say this is where you speak for those guys. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about those guys. It's not in my type of guys. Not because it's like something untouched. Right. I personally understand the perks that come with it. And I would speak for the majority of women that are not tainted by that type of lifestyle. Who would say, well, what if I don't want that type of man? What if I don't want that type of lifestyle? 
Not yeah, a, but let's be honest. Women go for that type of man. No, no, no. M women who abuse this lifestyle. Yeah, but you, listen, you live in Miami. You're used to this type of girl. Why why, why does Candace Owens want that lifestyle? What's up with Candace Owens? Well, Candace Owens lives like in Nebraska somewhere. No, nah, but she ain't the only one living in Nebraska. Right, I understand. Like women outside of like major cities don't really That's have to I'm deal with that. That's what I'm speaking for. I am, I'm not speaking, at this subject, I'm not speaking for the hoes in Miami. Yeah, but now on social media, I'm sure, who, Kansas? Kansas Owens? That's what you said? Can, you know Candace who Candace Owens is? I don't know who that is. Uh, you got to uh, find out who she is. I, I, I could imagine, <laughs> I could imagine people are sliding into her DMs and oh, she's absolutely. being going out. Yeah, nah. but it doesn't matter if someone's sliding her DMs. She has no respect for them. She would never give them. Candace Owens is the smartest fucking woman on the internet. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Yeah, Candace Owens, if you ever watch this little baby podcast, you are the fucking goat. Keep preaching. Yeah, she's amazing. But yeah, so Candace, but Candace is a rare exception, right? She, you, there's not too many women out there like her. Yeah, because there's a reason why she's Candace because there's not that many women. But I'm talking about women that would leave a guy, like I said, and I I highlighted this. He's taking care of everything, right? He's a good father. All you you took that and said no, you wouldn't personally. But you're talking about your own I, personal I, I, experience. I consistently say that for yourself. But I'm saying it doesn't make sense for a woman to leave that relationship, put your kids at risk. And then now you're out there in the market. Guys are just going to fuck you and use you and leave you. You're going to end up fucking embarrassed. I agree. Depressed. Not arguing with you on this. Again, this is where we draw the line. At. You're speaking for the major city thoughts. I'm speaking for the little prairie girls. My prairie goats, I'm with you guys. Mm -hmm. For the thoughts, thoughties of the thoughties, they're under your wing. You can take those sorority girls. But, so. but there are thoughts everywhere, though. I, oh, there's thoughts. Every girl is a thought, just like every man is a whore. But we just understand discipline. You're in fitness. You understand what discipline is. There's a time and a place to eat a cake, and there's a time and a place not to eat the cake. Yeah. With that being said, yeah, there's definitely a lot of thoughts in Nebraska or Idaho or South Dakota. Like, they're out there. You everywhere. know what? I, I believe all women have a whole stage. Uh -huh. All women have a whole stage. I definitely think so. Whether you actually all of them. act on it and, like, actually, you know, have full intercourse or not. I st I so so little, little Rebecca from stage. Nebraska or Michigan or wherever the fuck, I'm sure Rebecca is going through some dick, too. Yes, yeah. yes. But it is important that the girl that... The, your personality as a foundation means the most. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter you have a fucking... And I'm not saying it doesn't matter. It, every girl will have a slight. But if you don't have a good man in your life, like a dad, a brother, an uncle, someone that's in, like, in, just putting in that imprint on you, like, hey, be fucking careful. You do this, you will get your ass kicked by me or some of your brother or somebody. This, I, I'm setting the foundation for that. Like, this one thing to accept what you guys are saying, I understand that. That's reality for a certain lifestyle. But for the rest of, like, I'm in Tampa. Before me moving to Miami, I didn't hear about these conversations. The people around me, we did not talk about these. It wasn't even a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure in the richer part of where the fuck I was saying, sure, it was, it was being, but it wasn't spoken about. But for the majority of everyone that's around, this wasn't a thing. So, I, again, like, I, I'm speaking for, this is a podcast where I would say, I'm not going to make it an echo chamber. I don't agree with that for myself because I don't chase that. And I, what do I say backs up with everything? So I'm speaking for me. You're speaking for what majority men, but you guys are guys who look put together. You guys chase after this lifestyle because you know what you can <laughs> no, you can achieve as a, not because you're bougie or whatever, just because, you know, as a man, that power just changes you in a good way. You just feel better than you felt last year. It makes a new different creed for yourself that you're like, listen, I'm never going back to that man I was last year. But for women, when we get to that stage, that's not good for us to feel that way. I'm just personally saying that. So. All right. Let me read some of these chats. Julia says, if she has no kids, I don't think so. If not, it's her choice whether she accepts it or not. Conceda says, stepping out for a man is um, compared to a dog going out for a walk. Let me out and go pee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. So Brunella says, W, Angela. She was uh, giving you a W to that rant. But Angela, I'm um, sorry, but uh, Bruna, you if you live anywhere in a major city, yeah, you're, you're going to learn real soon. Well, the major cities don't dictate the entire world, so I don't well, give a fuck. Uh, Bruna... Uh, go to New Hampshire. Go find a house over there because, yeah, not in a major city. So you're, you're basically trying to amplify this toxicity, um, basically. Roger says, yep, I'm making 300K a year. Best believe I will. And um, let me see. I think a man, I said, uh, Julia says, I think men have the right, their body, their choice. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. See, look, that's equal rights, but it doesn't Yo, sound facts. right. Yo, right? It doesn't sound right when a man says it. It's only right when a woman says it. <laughs> Uh, Bruna says, no, ladies, if a man stands to your face and tells you this, run. He has no respect for you. Uh, Bruna, I, I'd argue with that. I think if a man tells you that, he does have respect for you because he's okay. not lying to you. Exactly. So, and, and cheating for a man and a woman is not the same. 
It's not the same. No, no. And I know Ange is, 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 is not going to agree with no, that. No, no, no. I already said that. Why would you say that? Do you not know me at this point? I'm just kidding with you. I know you. Uh, but 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 Ange does speak for her person. Like her man is a ten to her. We've already we've already acknowledged that. So, but you know, it is what it is. At okay. This point. Well, let's change the goddamn subject for this. Gets cheesy in here. Um, you do personal. You said fitness training, body training. What do you do exactly? I own a facility in New Jersey, a personal training facility. Um, it's called the Bark Fitness. I also do online coaching. Um. I am mass producing my services uh, and I do other other forms of income. You know, I'm known for building booties. They call me the booty doctor in New Jersey. Oh, OK. OK. Um, I'm known for my business, a bark of fitness. Some people call me Dak Prescott. You know, you look like him. Holy shit. Until I stand up <laughs> and they're like, yo, this this <gasps> motherfucker's five nine. Bro, you this nigga's not five, like him. Uh, six crazy. Two. Wait, you're five um, nine? Yeah. Is that a struggle? Is that, is that really? Because, I mean, it's not far off from six feet. Is yeah. It, I mean, it is. Because, I mean, it's just, listen, if if I had just two or three more inches on me, you know, height-wise, like. Bro, that's crazy. It would be, it would be. Think would about be that for a second. Thin, and this would be a problem. We think about have... that for a second. That that small little difference. Hell yeah. Is, is It makes such a Hell difference yeah. in a man's life. Oh. Oh, yeah. Are most of your clients women or men, or is it pretty equal? Woman, because I'm on the I'm the booty doctor. The booty doctor. What have yeah. you noticed about women when it comes to fitness? The pros and the cons. Um, they're always going to be insecure. Mm -hmm. Okay, but again, you could look at that as a positive or a negative. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think I empathize because I was brought up and raised by all women, mm -hmm. so I can relate. I know how women think, so. I manipulate that thought process and I make it a positive. It's like there's always room for growth instead of thinking, okay, you know, like I'm never going to be X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Do you, you ever get um, the body positivity girls? Yes, I do. And I'm, it's like one of those unspoken laws as a trainer to never speak about politics, for example. It's one of those things where it's kind of like, you know, I try to avoid that topic. Um, however, I try to be as genuine as possible. I just maneuver the conversation elsewhere because I'm very, very close to a lot of my a lot of my clients. I could consider them my family. Mm -hmm. um, but when I go on my podcast, I'm a podcast guy, too, by you the way, a bar cast um, subscribe. Out. I appreciate that. Um, but when I go there, I sp I also speak about how the body positivity it's cat. It's trash. You're promoting obesity. Y'all heard that. You're promoting coronary heart disease. You're yeah. promoting pulmonary heart disease. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're three, four, five hundred pounds and you're saying, yo, you know, like I'm I'm beautiful. This is my life. Da, da, da. OK, that's great. But don't don't like cheer on a girl who is 600 pounds and you're just like, yeah, I love yourself. Da, da, da. You're, you're beautiful the way you are. It's no, no, Bro, those, those you're, women that are that big. Don't you're going to die. Happy. Yeah. They're not even happy themselves. Like you're going to exactly. And, and, and those, those type of women, unfortunately they go to social media and they try to get that affirmation. Yeah. And guess what? They're getting it from women, not men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. 100. I saw how uh, so you follow sports illustrated. Yeah. They put a fat, I know. Fat I, I spoke about that on my podcast. Okay. And I I, was, I do not support that I was, at all. I, I wanted to throw up. But like, why? I want to know why you don't support it. Okay, imagine if you see Jack Black on Sports Illustrated. Yeah. And they, but see, they would you're never... Gonna, you're not even open it. But here's the thing. They would never do that for a man. I know they, they would only do that for women. Yeah, they don't embrace body positivity for men. No. They bro, bro if you're a fat guy, you're a piece of shit in yeah. society. Unless guys. you got money and even, so many rude Bro, even, even the fat guys who have money, DJ Khaled and Rick Ross, like, they only like them because they Agreed. have money. Agreed. Exactly. And even then them too they losing weight Bro, i see yeah. dj cali drinking his juice yeah on there's a reason why <laughs> like, they're still not rick ross is one of the most wealthiest dudes he's fat he's not getting the same attention as listen Drake. i know this podcast is gonna blow up rick ross or uh dj cali you're ever gonna watch this i'm a celebrity trainer okay a bark of fitness you know yeah uh, um no but, a question <laughs> go ahead what What's, about uh girls that say they like dad bods you think it's cap that's cap i think it's cap too that's cap because I'm pretty sure Rebecca, who's dating a Brad who's like 50 years old, mm -hmm. okay, he's not in his prime anymore, you know, 
who still supports his college football team, okay, I'm sure his wife is going to stumble upon some new Brad in the bar, and there might be some mistakes happening yeah. if she has a few drinks in her, a few tequila clubs or vodka clubs in her. Yeah. You know? And shout out to any Rebecca's that ever watched this video. We have nothing against you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's my go to name. Sorry. But um, let me see. Let me read some of this more. Um, I guess someone's saying no as yeah, long I, as I he's been uh, 5.4. Height doesn't oh, matter yeah. as much, uh, but what can you provide? So wh how about what would you guys say about this? What's we all know that a woman's beauty is equivalent to like a man's uh money, right? His status, right? Which one is which one can get a, a man would money get a man more or would beauty get a woman more in, in society? What wait, do you guys think? Wait, are you asking what gets further in society, beauty or money? Yeah. What I mean for what so gender? Like, for, well, I just said for for, for a woman men, or for, uh, for, for men, men get further money. with status. For okay, women, so you, you think beauty doesn't get women far in life? Uh, it only gets you in the door. It's not going to get you, like... Oh, for a man? Area. It's not going to get you the full actual opportunity that you want. Yeah. So you think money overall is more important than... For a men. For a man. Yeah, not for women. Nobody gives a shit if you make 100K, 500K. No one cares. Like, really? to be real. You care because you can take care of yourself. But mm -hmm. when you're buying your own bags, you realize this shit fun fucking sucks. Yeah. Like, you know, you're eating alone. You're paying for all your homegirls or they're stuck in faces with strangers and you just bought this whole table. You're going to realize it kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah I, I mentioned this in a previous podcast. I, I believe um, if a man checks off two out of the three boxes, then you can get the type of woman you want. What it's, are those boxes? It's, it's height. Okay. Over six feet tall, let's say. Unfortunately, I'm not I'm not Dak Prescott. Yeah. Um, and then there's money. Okay. And then there's looks. Money will add a few inches though. I know. Height. Exactly. <laughs> so again, so you know, I I know I check two out of those three. So I'm good. Mm -hmm. So some guys who are extremely good looking, you know, they might be able to sleep with a Rebecca or a Karen or whoever the fuck in Wisconsin or Jersey or Miami, but after a certain after a certain point when they're 30 or 40 i mean those looks are gonna kind of go away and if you don't have your money on point and you're not over six feet tall you're fucked dude yeah agreed. you know and you're gonna settle with i don't know someone who supports body imaging yeah let me ask you a question what about let's say you're da uh, i don't want to put you on the spot but let's Please. say let's say you're put dating spot. let's say you're dating right okay um do you expect a woman to be okay with you being able to uh step out every now and then I'm in that situation now. For you personally? Yeah. Okay. And I mean, are you honest about it? I'm very honest about it. You know, I had an agreement with her from the get. Um, and I was actually talking to my boy, uh, Basil, about this mm -hmm. on the car. Um, but I had an agreement with her on the get. I was like, listen, you know, I had this analogy that I heard. Uh, you know, I don't want copyright, but fuck it. I'm going to, I'm going to. Uh, copy it. Mm -hmm. So, if a man goes in a supermarket, okay, and they only, uh, he only has enough money for apples, and he has an apple a day, mm -hmm. is he loyal to the apple? No. Or is <laughs> no. it the point that he can only afford an apple? Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So this same guy, he goes to a different supermarket. Okay. He chooses an apple every day, and then. Maybe once a month he wants a peach or once a year he wants a peach. But after that peach, he goes back to the apple. Is the is the man loyal to the apple, yes or no? No. He's not? You don't think so? But what do you mean? What, your he he only he only has a peach, let's say once a year or once a month. And, but he always goes back to the apple. He's having the apple every day on that yeah. new supermarket. Is he oh, loyal okay, to the I see apple? What you're saying. Well, I, I think men are only as loyal as they can be. Like, for instance... If I was a multimillionaire, then my standards would be different for women. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't no longer ask a girl, "Can we have a threesome?" I, I'd be like, "Hey, we're having a threesome. If you don't like it, you can go." Because I'm a multimillionaire now. Right, but there, let's say, let's say for example, I don't know your your relationship status. I don't want to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> let's say if you have a girl, now put me on the spot. Okay, yeah. okay. So are you single or not? I'm single. Okay, so in the future, when my boy wants to settle down, mm -hmm. you're gonna have a number one. Yes. Okay. And then there's going to be all these other thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but there's always going to be that number one. That number one is your apple. 
Mm-hmm. You're gonna have that I see. that peach on of the course, side yeah, yeah. once a year if you want. Mm-hmm. You know, us guys sometimes we want something different. We get bored. You know, sometimes we want a D cup. Yeah. You know, sometimes we want I don't know some fucking vanilla. So what would you say to women that say, "Oh, well, then I'm not enough for you"? Because that's literally what they always say. They do always say that, but you have to explain. So yeah, so getting back on topic, like I I explained um, myself and how things are. So you know, if I explain that all men are going to want other women at mm-hmm. some point, you know, and then I've gotten like, oh yeah, you know, but like my my friend Karen or and Rebecca, they're all married and they're happy. I'm like, are they though? Right. The guy's fat. Right. The guy's successful, right. but he's short. Like, are they happy? Because yeah. I'm pretty sure you come to me and you share their problems and you say they're fucking depressed and they're not happy and they're going on girl trips in Miami and Cancun and they suck in some, some, some guy off who's yeah. fucking Brad and then comes back and then is kissing her, their man in the mouth. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? So like, are they happy? And yeah. then, and then they're like, Oh no, like, you know, they're not. So then I'm like, listen, you either want a man who's going to be, you know, uh straightforward with you and mm-hmm. be honest with you you know who's gonna have a peach once once a year mm-hmm. but respectfully though mm-hmm. you know again i'm in a relationship i'm not gonna embarrass my girl mm-hmm. you know i treat her with respect i take care of her protection security you know um i don't rub her in her face you know like that's like an unspoken right, right, right. law and i'm like listen you want this relationship right it is what it is but I'm never going to disrespect you. I'm going to make sure that you don't even find out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure that your friends, Rebecca and what, what the Karen. fuck? Karen. <laughs> Karen is not going to, you know, catch me in the yeah. bar down the down the road. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I do know that men often keep these things super clean. Like, I know that when women cheat, it's very messy. And when men che- cheat or step out, it's usually very clean. The only reason why I would ever get messy is when women start digging. And that's why, like, women don't dig. Don't, don't dig. Because when you dig, you will find dirt. Yeah, and, and I tell her, exactly like, now what it's... you're looking for. Yeah, and now it's to the point where, like, I'm just like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hide shit. Yeah. You know, there, there's been a little hiccups where, you know, she's like, oh, who's that? Or, you know, why is that kind of, I'm like... I think bro. when a man gets to the point where he doesn't have to hide shit is because he's, he's a man of value at this point. Because, you know, when, when you have to hide shit, you're worried, like, oh, I'm going to lose this girl. But when you, when you get to a certain status like you're like i don't care if i lose you man like i i, I love you you know what i mean i exactly. want to be with you but you're number one yeah you're the only one you so you want to leave knowing you're my number one to go to another guy where you might be number three exactly fucking dumb or and and on top of that that man is gonna lie to your face to your face yeah your face like i said you guys enjoy <laughs> city boy life i would take my ass to switzerland where i'm happy in japan i'm not doing none of this city shit <laughs> when y'all are done talking about this because this is acceptable to this generation and this society nowadays hey you know what we, we us men we adapt we don't complain we adapt the, the the sexual market is so saturated with only fans that we need to adapt to our surroundings we're we're an, we're lions we're animals yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying if there's an ice age we're gonna fucking find a cave agreed you know what i'm saying so like if there's so many the thottery is an epidemic. Yeah. yeah you know no. what I'm saying? Yeah, I stay away from all that. So I'm no, good. Solid. And here's another thing nope. too. Even the even the losers get get play. You want to know why? Because when men like me and you lose women because they, oh, I can't accept that you want to step out. Guess who they go to? They go to the dudes that were there and, they, you know, but he listens and he's this. And, and then they're you, lying. And then you, end up, lying. then you end up sleeping with a, a loser. Yo, for real. Who lives with his mom. Yo, fam. And has no car and doesn't have a good job. And he has all the time to be there for you. Right. Works but at it, Sprint. Right. <laughs> but it's like, why? Because he's not doing shit with his life. So, um, yeah. And men are opportunists. Like you said, they adapt. A guy can be a friend to a girl for five years. And he'll adapt. He'll be like, okay, cool. You don't want to give it to me, but one day exactly. I'll be there. And that and that guy only maybe checks off one out of the three that I stated earlier. Yep. And he's just waiting his turn. Just waiting, man. It's like, uh, you know, in the sea, they have the so sharks. Wait, do you guys think that everybody needs to be a leader? Is what you're saying? Every man that you know in your life needs to be a leader. I would love for every man to be a leader. But so unfortunately, no. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, wait, why do you want every man to be a leader? 
Shit, why not? What I, we talked about this yesterday. I want so everyone around me. You think you could run a corporation when everyone wanted to take your spot? No, no, no. I, I, I said I wish every man would want to be a leader. Unfortunately, I know now that not every man should. They, they don't have it in them. Some you know? people are happy with being number two. Yeah, and they're better of being number two. Yeah, that's I think fine. the world should operate that way, and that's why, like, I understand your position and what you guys value in life as a man. But I don't think every man should want that, even if they think they deserve it. I think every man that's come on our show so far is is a winner and is a leader, and you can tell. Like, if we ever bring a guy in here that's like a pussy, basically, you you can tell just by the way they carry themselves. Like that guy has no ambition. All the leaders that I know have ambition. They want to do something with their lives. And this is why they want multiple women because they want to, they're ambitious. Nobody wants what to be What if the guy wanted traditionalism? That's fine. There's a few guys out there. So and, what, what, and, and, so traditionalism, traditional... and traditionalism is still having other women on the side. Now. Yeah. Mm. I, I want you to name three guys right now at the top of multi-millionaires or billionaires that you know that Listen, are... I, I, I keep telling you, and I'm not leaning towards those type of men. Right. Like, but like, it, there's not that many out there. Name... No, there's not that many out there. There are millions, billionaires. That's why it's pointless to talk in my position. I'm talking for the, the regular Kansas... The fucking Utah bitches who are like, listen, I just want me a regular Tad Joe. Not every girl wants to be in Miami. Right. I'm not fucking proud to be if in the zip code. If you want me to talk to the regular bitches. No, I I'll didn't be, ask you to. I'll I'm be talking to, to regular schmegglers. You're talking for okay. the high value guys. I'll talk to the regular bitches. And I'll say this. the Even the regular bitches are out here fucking anybody. Like, they're just fucking anybody. No, no, no. They're fucking anybody because they don't have a foundation. And they're they're copying the girls on Instagram who's making it look fun. This mm. is where, like, my part is to instill. I'm my job, my, me personally, while I'm doing this shit, I want to vocalize what my purpose here. Mm -hmm. I understand your purpose is to validate for men to do this. I'm not gonna sit here and validate that. I understand it, mm -hmm. but that deems me truly is like, damn, you only think there's only one way to live. Who the fuck's gonna be the janitor? Well, no, I, I Who's think... gonna work at Dunkin'? Who's gonna make your fucking coffee? Oh no, no, no. There, there's guys for that, but those guys would never want to do anything. I'm saying for the men. They, they wish they did. They wish they did. That's fine to wish. But again, we can speak about the double standard of like women wish. Certain, and I'm just saying men, there are certain guys who need to accept like these guys are doing this for a reason. They're paving the way. You can watch. You can enjoy things. You can go to the club and enjoy them. Throw the stacks. Doesn't mean you get to enjoy the same perks. Yeah. I don't give a fuck that you want a threesome. I don't care that you want her, her, her. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So it, uh, this is why I'm speaking. And but I, before but we I continue... Shout Go out ahead. to one one little dodge. He's from TikTok for tuning in. Um, just wanted to shout say out that. to you, brother. But here's another thing too. Um, I think that you're right. Not every man can and has the ability to do that. But I think every guy, if he really wanted to, he he could get himself there. Yeah, sure. Just every like single every guy. Every fat girl can lose it, weight, but you, she don't want to. There's she a guy hashtag. right. There's a guy right now at Dunkin's. If he really wanted to, he busted his ass off for a good. Well, listen, three to we five can years. speak about the should, he could, could and would. I don't give a fuck and about that. Can I ask you a question? I, I'm I'm curious to know your your perspective on something. Do you think average Joe works at Duncan, works at Sprint, wherever? You know, he's he's not what the two the chat says two percent, three percent man. Mm -hmm. Do you think when those men, low, lower tier men, mm -hmm. they uh they watch porn mm -hmm. and they're fantasizing, of course, about other type of women other than their wife or the girlfriend or significant other mm -hmm. do you think that's cheating wait do Ooh, i think question. that men watching porn is cheating yeah who are yeah. in a relationship yeah i would okay. say so 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 what if the type the category that they're looking at has nothing to do or is nowhere near their significant other like if i'm dating an african-american woman and she's my wife and she caught me with a blonde who's a Barbie. Mm -hmm. Is she going to get mad? I mean, I feel like women would get mad, but do I think it's right? I would say no. Okay. okay. So you don't think it's right? The, which right? The right to watch porn or right that she's getting mad? No. It, do, do you think it's it's cheating if he's watching porn and it doesn't even look like significant other? Uh, hmm, that's a really weird question. I don't think it's cheating I, I don't know like if it's like a regular civilian like maybe i'm going to depth with this i wouldn't say it's cheating because it's porn but i know porn is detrimental to the brain to most people they abuse it so i would say no i, I think that men compartmentalize sex in different way than women do women think and they dream beyond when they see a guy they want to fuck so i don't know because those men they wish they have options and they wish they could sleep with other women however they can't 
So they need to watch porn and watch, I don't know, fucking again, like I, I understand what y'all are saying. Naked, I'm not whatever. I'm not arguing with you guys. I understand. There's there's a lot of things that people have to do to sacrifice their day by day by living. And you could want more, but I don't think if there's five guys, I don't think all five guys are gonna be leaders. I think like maybe two are gonna make it. The three may not be losers, they may be like halfway there. I, I don't think that every man will be in that position that they get to vocal that I want a threesome. I want to step out on you. I'm sorry. Yeah, but here's another thing. You said it yourself. You go for a certain type of guy. You don't go for the tens. Yes. <laughs> These women out here, even Rebecca from fucking Nebraska, mm -hmm. is not going for a five. So, she doesn't want a five. I don't she, know if you've every, been to Walmart lately, but I'm telling you, these women settle. It's evolutionary, right? Women settle if they have to, right? Yes, but, but ma that's the majority. majority that, that's the majority. Bro. But they want more, is what I'm saying. Men want more, also. So, so we're so fighting they, with so, wanting more, right? So when they have that, right? I'm speaking for the for the people that are in a relationship with guys like like him, for example. Uh -huh. Like that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, hey, you got a guy that's valuable, right? He looks good, takes care of himself, takes care of you, I pays your bills, with that. right? So what I'm saying is, you're talking about not every guy can do it. I'm I'm talking about, hey, when when there's a situation like his, he should be able to do that. I I understand. This is two different topics. Then that's what I'm simply saying. Okay. We're talking about two different things. I didn't argue with that. Cool, cool. Then I'm glad we agree on that. Agree to disagree. Cool. Um, anybody else? Um, have any uh comments? <laughs> Let me see. Um, Perkins says height doesn't matter as much as but what a what is he saying? But what you can provide aside that. Is he saying money? I can't really see that shit. Onward should just read it. Onward, yeah. please help help him out. He's getting. Uh, he's getting Julia old. says a a man's height for women, a man's height matters for a woman because women want protection. Unfortunately, short men get overlooked. And then Roger says statistically, a taller man is more likely. Um, he will make more money. So I'd say yes. He said taller men will make more money. Uh, he says yes. Statistically, that really? taller men typically make more money. Do they? Yeah, I'm not that sure is about true. that. I don't, yeah, that's crazy. Why do you think that is? Yeah. I don't know. She's going to Google that shit right now. I w shit, I will Google that too. Yeah. I, okay, I'm not going to Google. I'm too fucking lazy. Uh, I think but... it's because like taller men just end up getting the jobs because they're just more desirable. Oh, wow. Okay, I just thought taller men just going to live off their looks because they don't have to work as hard. No offense to anybody that's tall in here. But usually, <laughs> that's tall, it. tall guys are like pretty women, like pretty privileged. Like, I, I'd be surprised if... No, Bro, I can't. Angie's on, on something tonight, man. T taller guys don't get... I mean, w besides well, like with the women, maybe women obviously like taller guys, but we don't get an advantage at a job because you're taller, we're going to hire you. And it's not It's not like we're beautiful. Right. You know, it's not like if if I was a woman and I look gorgeous. I don't know. I feel like they're just more likable just because they're tall. Like, no, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know why, but the stat is true. The stat is true? Yeah. That's oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. They get more advantage? But I'm telling you, men me, men aren't getting any favors in the workplace because they're taller. Well, I yes. You. In a workplace, I understand with like men, man to man, it's like Wolf City. Sure. But but we're talking about money. That's why I'm talking about the workplace. Well, I oh, mean, like HR fault. is usually women. They'll hire the guys. Right. That has something to do with oh, those horn dogs. Like I've been talking no, about the fucking horn dogs. Mm. We can't win with that. Exposed. <laughs> that makes sense. God damn it. Right All now. right. Good shit. All right, guys, we've been going for uh, an hour and 37 minutes. We're going to wrap it up. If you guys have any last questions, please let me know. Uh, can you plug yourself in, bro, for everybody that yeah. uh, so they can find you? Yes, of course. So um, first off, since we're on YouTube and uh, we're on a podcast, phenomenal podcast, by the way. Thank Shout you. Thank you, guys. You. I appreciate the time that you guys uh given me to even share my thoughts and, and perspectives. Now, we appreciate you, man. You, you came from Jersey and um, it's our first weekend. We're really glad. And thanks for everybody that tuned in, too. Um, yeah, let them know how they can find you. Yeah, so my YouTube channel, my podcast specifically is A-Barcast. It's a little play on with my last name because my last name is Abarca. Um, Instagram, my business page is Abarca, A-B-A-R-C-A, period fitness, Abarca.fitness. My personal page is the Brian Abarca. Um, you can find me on Instagram. And if you guys are interested in online coaching, and or in-person personal training, uh, please let me know. And send me an email. Send me a DM, et cetera. If you want the booty doctor or the fake Dak Prescott, let me know. <laughs> yeah, you guys can also catch him on Fox. He plays this Sunday against uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've also gotten Poppy Tate. <laughs> I've gone Poppy Tate, which I thought was pretty funny too. Oh, All right, okay. what about you? Any uh, closing? 
Um, no, I just want to say thank you guys for having me. I had a really good time. It was nice to hear everyone's thoughts and opinions on everything. It definitely, uh, some things that everyone said definitely changed my mind a little bit and my point of view on things a little bit. But thank you so much for coming. And yeah, just thank you guys. What do you think me. now after this show? Do you think that you would give up um, that stance that you have on kids like for a guy that you really wanted to be in love with you wanted married he wanted to marry you what if a guy says hey man i'll marry you you're beautiful i love you you you, you quit only fans for me but I, I want a kid you still gonna stand on that if i quit only fans for him and like direct deposit to your bank account every month <laughs> i would i would give you a kid in that case <laughs> if i if i'm quitting only fans my source of income for you then i must really be digging you so if i'm really digging Let's you to quit go. that then i'm probably going to be digging you enough to change my mind and give you a kid all right guys, guys. changing lives yeah right we're changing there. lives uh <laughs> go, ahead and, go, go ahead and give your ig go ahead and give your ig for um, anybody in the chat my that, uh... ig is jada the fairy you guys were actually spelling my name wrong in the chat it's j a e d a the fairy she fancies like that all, all right. right guys and um this was actually probably one of the first shows that me and Ange disagreed on a lot of stuff my goal is not to be an echo chamber <laughs> but also be realistic so leave me alone yeah and um catch her on tiktok she's always getting banned on there going viral um yeah. every other tiktok goes viral i don't know how she does it she has a she has a little cheat codes on tiktok um and thank you guys for sending us love on instagram and uh reaction videos a lot of people have been sending us that as well we actually just hit over 600 subscribers before the show uh one weekend guys Woo! Yeah, and this is organic, so we appreciate you guys so much. Um, you have anything else before we go? No, that's it, guys. Don't forget to share this to your mothers, your grandmas, your abuelas, your tios, all that stuff. They need to know, even if they don't understand it, because when you get the subs up, you can get super chats. And stay tuned. We're going to be on Spotify and Apple within the next couple of days. So for those of you that are listening and driving, don't watch. Be safe. Um, <laughs> we will see you guys Monday at 6 p.m., and we have the late show at 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So stay tuned and don't forget to leave us your best comments. All right, guys. Take care. All right, y'all. Peace.